I'm shifting gears. Let's talk about it. You listen, does it all... Up until this point, I've been a one-person creative agency. I've done a lot of the work myself. Of course, I've had great partners along the way, people like Dwight. Although I've had some success, I haven't scaled it to the level that I want, and uh, lately I've been thinking about why. Uh-huh. Thanks a lot, American Airlines. There should be a handle here, but there's not. It's okay. We're gonna fix it. I've always enjoyed working on my own, on the projects that I like to work at, at the speed that I like to work, which is generally faster than most people like to work. Please have hardware. This wasn't, I swear this wasn't planned, but we're gonna run with it. Um, I think now more than ever, brands and big strategic partners are looking to partner with creators themselves. And there's a big reason why. And that is because they have, well, we have all of the insights and information and data and have built trust with our audience that they could never build themselves. Torx. Torx head or die. I think I think this one should work. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Okay, that works. Um, so that's good. Now the thing we have to do is I'm gonna make a handle. I think I have some scrap wood, uh, some oak. I'll be right back. Uh, where do you go? Okay, that, uh, this, and this, that, that should be good enough to make uh, a handle. I was on my flight back from Ohio where I just was uh, shooting a short film and I thought to myself, what are you waiting on? And I didn't have a good answer. So here I am starting now. And from now on, start now is my new Ethos. You listen, does it all came undone? Exactly to you. It's It's not supposed to happen. I can't lie, this is this is my my third time. Much better. Okay, back to back to American Airlines and how they changed my career path. So I was um come on. Um in in today's age, so many things are designed for a particular set of people because we have so much access to information and... Oh, okay. What I was trying to say there was so many products and businesses are developed purely out of an opportunity because we have so much information and data on people. There's many businesses, businesses that are designed to just exploit a certain group of people or communities and that's not what I want to do. What I want to do is develop things that I find really useful that I know will be really useful or good or a good fit or something that's really well thought out for a certain group of people. People like me that like to build, make, create, etc. And like art and objects. It's intentional, whatever. Here, back, back, get back to the... <laughs> On this American Airlines flight that I took, I decided I am a creator. For years, I've shied away from using that word because it's been synonymous with TikTok dances and... 
that's not what I stand for. But what I do stand for is making things and finding solutions and being unique and sharing and educating and just being creative. So that's what I'm committing to doing here on out. Fitment looks pretty, pretty good. And, and this is where, where I need your help. Um, hopefully in exchange for the value that I give you, whether it's entertainment or creativity, inspiration, or actual knowledge about how to light or shoot a scene, um, I want to start developing products. This is not one of them, but designing starts with making in my mind, and I'm trying to make as many things as possible. And soon in the near future, I'm going to launch a brand or a marketplace where I sell products that I believe in that are made and engineered by me and or my team of friends. Can I get a DeWalt, a DeWalt deal maybe? Okay, the long-term goal obviously is to be able to grow a following and an audience and then be able to have brand partnerships and do other things, um, AdSense, et cetera, to earn money and make a living creating and being creative. So I think that's obviously the long-term goal, but in the short term, I think the product business is necessary and in the long term, that's something that I wanna do. Maybe 10 or 15 years down the road, I would love to have a really high utility product company. So this is the origins of that. And then, yeah, we'll start with building simple product. Uh, some things may just be cash flow generators, like a really heavy duty t-shirt or a work shirt or something like a wrench set or things that are, you know, generally useful to people who like to operate and build and do and work and create. So that'll be the short term goal. And then of course, I'll never ship anything that is not something I believe in. I'm mad at it. We'll fix, we'll fix that later. See this? This, this is a lesson. How poetic. If you do not try, you'll never know. If you don't try again, you'll never learn. And if you don't learn, then shame on you, I guess. I don't know. I just made that up. I don't have to do it.